Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm your host, Mike Lowry. This is your co-host, John. And Yo. we are Cryptologic Podcast, man, where we help make crypto logical. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still a little sick, guys, so bear with your boy. Now, today, uh, if, you're, jam-packed. if this is your first time here, man, we got a super jam-packed episode. <laughs> you can see John is geeking out right now, man, because literally Solana has been blowing up. It's been going crazy, man. We've been trying to get on this Solana hype for a minute, but man, I'm not every in single it, thing, you're in it. Every single project we try and get to sells out in literally seconds. Literally seconds. Yep. There was one today. Um, I can't even think of the name right now, but it freaking went in in literally seconds. So it's pretty crazy, man. We're gonna be breaking down a whole bunch of stuff today, so definitely stick around. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn about crypto, man. You wanna hang out with two cool guys just talking about crypto? Man, how can you lose with that? You know what I'm saying? So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it, all right? Boom, here we go. Talking about the overall market cap of the entire crypto space, we are currently sitting at 2.09 trillion, up about a one and a half percent almost, or one and a quarter percent, rather. Um, Solana has just been doing just absolutely tears, man. It's freaking crazy. Bitcoin is still consolidating at that 47, which is nice. You know what I'm saying? We're still just, same. We're yeah. just waiting for that breakout. I feel like we've been talking about Bitcoin at 47, yeah. 47,000 like for like two weeks, two weeks almost. Look at Ethereum. It's crazy. Yeah. Ethereum's doing pretty good though. Probably I ain't gonna lie. 3,400 or 3,400. It was at 3,400 earlier. Hold on. Let me, let me refresh just in case. <coughs> Cause you know, they'd be capping sometimes. But um, but now, yeah, man, Ethereum's been doing pretty good. The only thing about Ethereum, though, and we're going to get into it. We're going to deep dive a little bit into it. But the gas fees are just, they're just it's that, it's that bug. too much. It's yeah, you bug. talked about the bug yesterday, man. I, that's why I feel like Solana is blowing up, though, right? Because everybody is, is going, like, trying to find, okay, well, Ethereum's too expensive. So let's try and see what Solana is doing. But most people can't even get in on Solana, like... It sells out way too. Yeah, but that's a good thing for Solana. That means that there's, it's gaining volume. So, Ethereum, obviously, like Binance has its own uh, NFT area, but Binance made most of its prominence from meme meme coins. coins. Right. So now the NFT bubble is here again. The wave is here again, right? Yep. And Ethereum had it the first time again, and then it did it again with OpenSea, obviously Rarity. All that, all that Ethereum's layer allowed a lot of people to make a lot of money a lot of projects to skyrocket and then a lot of people caught holding the bag on a lot of different projects right right now solano right it launched remember it was like last month it was like 30 bucks or Something whatever like that yeah 40, 30, and 40 solano bucks, just yeah. launched last year like april of 2020 right it's only been around for a year this thing went from 77 cents in a year to 123 dollars based on and then that's just off of its ecosystem that it's creating it's still building it so yeah there's only one Right now, I think marketplace Solana art. There's more coming. Yeah, I think Solana art is the only marketplace. Yeah, there's like six or seven projects, right? Eight projects, Something and like ninety like percent of them are Sold profitable and but profitable. What I mean by that, yeah, what I mean by that is, on on if you go to Ethereum, you go to Ethereum side and play on that side. If you buy and load up on Ethereum, and you go to OpenSea, you're not gonna have that high su- success rate that solano's gonna give you, you. you're gonna have you to really saying? you have to really do your research yeah, with yeah. ethereum yeah because there's so <laughs> many projects every you're single you're gonna day. buy some i bought like four and i'm still holding the bag on them I, I think i have one or two potential ones that are gonna make me good money i'm just holding it right now right but like there's like a few other ones i feel like i'm just gonna have them forever and then i'm like all right these might these things might never blow up but there's gonna be a lot of them solano eventually will get to that point but solano's still so fresh and yeah. everyone's it's it's everyone's so hype on ethereum they just moved over to solano and then when ADA launches his NFTs and, and gets prominent, who knows what's gonna happen then? Now it's more exactly, competition. Yeah. So now it's gonna be more spread out. So right now, you if you could play, go get some money into Solano. Either buy Solano and hold Solano, or buy Solano and play. Because yeah. what is it like? We've seen eight or nine projects. Ninety percent of them, ninety percent of them, you can make guaranteed to triple quadruple your money crazy numbers man crazy crazy numbers ada is down about one percent which is totally fine we, we know we know ada highs. is gonna gonna skyrocket in the next couple of weeks so not really too much worried about ada just this is a yeah. consolidation point where ADA you know is something dollar cost average into you know Solano, what I'm saying? ada those two oh man i feel like those are safe bets right now 
well in as it's far as like advice, yeah. nft markets and things of that goes like the just, use cases of them you yeah know, you can put 100%. money in there and you, and you can kind of increase your money there a lot of people a lot of people are just talking about solana uh, not solana i'm sorry ada as like a barren wasteland like it's just nothing on it and a lot of people yeah. have a lot of hate and contention for ada so it's I, gonna build a paradise know. we'll see that's their mission xrp sitting at that dollar 14 perfect opportunity to continue <laughs> to buy in uh solana sitting at that uh just under 120 oh it was 124 this morning yeah man it's been going solana literally crazy solana's bro. gonna pass dogecoin um, dogecoin by i think what a is couple it, like days a, like a million two left? million two million yeah it'll pass dogecoin yeah it's gonna pass those dogecoin is just gonna keep going down and down i mean yeah people are talking about dogecoin but i mean it has no utility it doesn't do anything it doesn't do anything it doesn't do anything like, so all these other cryptos that people are putting buying <clears throat> people are buying solano to play right there's people buying solano as an as as a, oh i'm gonna buy solano this token and then it's gonna hit this not my number i'll be happy right? right that's that one side there's literally people loading up on solano and there's people that have loaded up on Solano since last year that have thousands and thousands of Solano since last year. It was Fact. so cheap. Yeah. And now they're playing with it. So the more you play, the more Solano is being put into the into the supply. Yeah. The more people buying more to play. That's why I think you gotta the pay to play. Can continue to go going, up. Going, because going. You know, it's not as I mean, yes, we have to worry about Bitcoin because of dominance, but when people constantly are keep that's buying why, in, buying in, it's just gonna keep rising. That's the why price. I think Bitcoin's dominance is not gonna take over the crypto anymore. It isn't it's just a store of value. And at some point, how can a store of value be number one anymore? When you have people spending money to make so much money and playing and buying this, buying that, new ecosystems coming, greeting, creating on top of the ecosystem that they're already creating. Yeah. It's just chain link stable coins, people using the stable coins. Look at look at number five. It's a, it's a freaking stable coin that's built on Ethereum. Yep. So think about a stable coin that's gonna be built on ADA. Might crack the top 10. That's billions of dollars there that's gonna be poured into that stable coin. That's technically gonna be poured into what ADA because it's built on ADA. Yeah, and we so, talked about that yesterday in our in our last episode. So if you haven't watched that video yet, man, I, so I don't know what you're doing. Solano is one of those things that I can see. It, I can see it's it, coming. I, I can see it hitting this time next year. We're gonna be laughing at these prices. Solano is gonna be like 600 bucks, 500 bucks. XRP gonna be like 30 dollars, 40 dollars. ADA is gonna be like be 15, dope. 20. Man, that'll be dope. Next year's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I can't wait, man. All right, guys, moving on to the news of the day. We don't have a lot of news today, man, so we're just going to kind of skim through it. We're not really going to go into it super deep. Yeah. We just want to, you know, highlight a couple things and uh, go from there. So as you guys know, Solana has skyrocketed to all-time high, uh, all-time, new all-time highs, I'm sorry. Every um, day. Abasting nearly $40 billion in marketplace value as competition with Ethereum Damn, heats cold. up. Yeah. Wow. Before we got on air, John was basically saying that, man, those three Ethereum is the place what used to be the place where you go like if you wanted to get into nfts there was no secondary place where you can be like all right i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go here but now with solano doing his thing there's a place you know we got alonzo actually launching soon on the 12th of uh, september if i'm not mistaken with ada so you know potentially there's smart that, contracts yeah you know so card swap for the exchanges there's gonna be top three that we know about there's talks that XRP is going to start having uh, NFTs. I believe VeChain already launched their NFTs, H-bar. if I'm not mistaken. Um, they have their version of V. Uh, I think they're called V Punks. Their version are like Crypto Punks, but it's pretty interesting, man. You H-bar's know what I'm saying? Have their own, it's, uh, it's pretty NFT interesting. Land. With you know Ethereum not being the top dog with NFTs anymore, this you know what what's to say what the price is going to be? This is like, just 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 think of the stock market back. Go back in time. And think about when AOL launched, Google launched, right? Right. Yahoo. Now there's Bing. There's like, excuse me. Think of like all those search engines, and then like those comp, like how they were competing with each other. Right. There was probably a lot of other ones that died. AOL was a search probably. engine. You can go to AOL.com and then have a search engine there. Yep. AOL died. What is left? Google's the king. Yahoo's right there, and then Bing is somewhere and then right Bing there. Bing is there, but it, but. Look, you like, really use Bing. this is like this is like the moment in history where if you look, if you take a step back and look and just look with no emotion, you go, OK, we're in the early stages and people are there's millions and billions, billion. Remember, we did the we did like a few episodes ago, only 300 million people out of 7 billion people on the planet are into crypto right now. Right. So you have an opportunity to one out of three of these are going to be king. Ethereum has already missed the best. It's, you have to have a lot of money to, to, play. To, to make money on Ethereum now. Fact. But Solano's new, started up, and then you got ADA coming around the corner. 
they're all supposed to compete with each other they do the same thing polka dot as well polka dot does the same thing yeah h bar is going to allow to do the same thing but h bar does multiple things they do banks they're going to work with finance they're going to work with they do hashcraft technology they're going to try and upgrade the blockchain technology that's a whole nother whole nother technical thing. deep dive but yeah. they're gonna have nfts you said v chain yeah you know what I mean? I think down the was. list just go down the list of all these ones that are saying hey we're gonna be the next thing we're... and then we don't you don't know if they're gonna win but it takes one to change your life realistically it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting with ethereum 2.0 when that comes out to see how much of a I just think, you know how I think, how can it level the playing field i think ethereum to be honest bro i think ethereum 2.0 is gonna come out like roll it up and just psh, get back you down think so? <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I don't know why. Okay. Okay. I have a million. You know how like Captain America was a little guy, and he, he was strong though. Chambers. He had the heart. You know, he landed on the grenade. The grenade. He was like, he had the heart. And yeah. then, but they like, oh yeah, he's the one. He came out the chamber all jack. Oh, came Captain America. Like when Darth Vader came up, duh. The was gonna come out and just. You're not passing me, but it's okay because 88 is still gonna be there. So, and then, and then 88, 88 is gonna try to look at us. Solana and 88 are gonna look at Ethereum, and they're gonna be like, "Damn!" And they're gonna look at each other. Damn, now they're, they got now, us. Now, now, but look, 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 what I'm saying. Like originally, right now, 88 and Solana are both looking at Ethereum, right, to, to try and take their spot. Right. 88 is gonna, Ethereum's gonna come all roided up and say, "Get you peasants!" And then you know what? You know what's gonna happen with 88 and Solana? They're gonna look at each other and then fight with each other. So hey, there's got to be a top dog. We you know, so, know so gonna be all right, it looks like we're not getting the top two spot. So who's gonna take top three? Solano or ADA? You know what I'm saying? And yeah. The next RP is gonna come right back. Once it's out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, hey, not, if you guys can visualize that, interesting. If you guys can visualize that, I hope you guys catch my drift. Or when, or when Superman uh, slap Batman. Yeah, you know, I think that Solana and ADA are gonna compete for an XRP are gonna compete for the number three spot because Ethereum two pro is gonna come out and Ethereum two pro is not gonna give up the number two spot. So realistically, I think that they're gonna look up there and say, okay, we can't compete with them, and then they'll look at each other and compete with each other down there, which yeah. is still fine though. Yeah, you I invest mean, into it, one of those. It's healthy. All three. You need competition. Healthy competition is healthy. One, two, three, four, five, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Top, top five. five. Top five. Top five. Pretty dope. Now Dogecoin Millionaire has been in the news lately. Uh, he's talking about um, that he's now moving just past Dogecoin. He he's actually thinking about getting into uh, Cardano. He's seen what Solana has been doing recently with the uh, the rally of the prices, and he's like, "Look, man, I'm not gonna. I missed out on Solana, so I'm not even gonna even worry about that. But I want to get in on ADA. He's heard about Alonzo launching on the 12th. He knows about NFTs. He knows how crazy they are right now, and he feels like, you know what? I'm not gonna just be the one hit wonder." And as it stands, in my opinion, I apologize, brother, but it just seems like he's a one-hit wonder with just Dogecoin. And I feel like he knows that Dogecoin is a means to it. He's starting to realize it. Yeah. He's I, starting I mean, to realize. This guy, this guy, we're supposed to get him on the show. We DM'd us back. You know? Yeah, we try to get him on the Yeah, we're, well, he's probably busy now, but we're we, waiting. He DM'd us back saying to email him, so we emailed him, so we're just waiting for him to reply. He's probably busy now. But eventually we, we I think we're manifesting. I think we're gonna get him on the show. Yeah, hundred percent. I agree. But he, I think he's starting to realize like, hey, Dogecoin's not doing anything. I have a million dollars. Let me, let me just zoop, take zoop. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. And put it in 88 <clears throat> into a fundamental. Now, now me personally, I don't think he's going to sell any Doge, to be honest with you. Um, but I think because he, he has a job. So, you know, he's not, he's not I like he's he quit a, his job. You think so? Yeah. I watched his YouTube. He quit his job. Oh. He was a YouTuber guy. And he just I mean, making, but he still makes money on YouTube. Yeah, his personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, he's I mean, like doing challenges, living off $100 for a month, and he's doing like all this interesting stuff. Yeah, but I mean, if he's doing a challenge that he can live off $100 a month, it's probably, he doesn't just have $100 a month, you know what I'm saying? But but nonetheless, man, I... Well, he technically I, I, is a millionaire. I'm so. glad, exactly. I'm glad he's he's diversifying now, you know what I'm saying? And not just relying on Dogecoin. He, I, I feel like he realizes that Dogecoin will only ever get him to that dollar point, and then that'll be it, you know? Because... I mean, think about it. Once XRP is actually the lawsuit is over, what what does Dogecoin do? Wouldn't yeah. wouldn't that be considered a security? Well, yeah. I mean, it depends on on what because verdict is. What are you buying? What are you buying Dogecoin to do? Nothing. Exactly. Just speculation. You're just buying it to appreciate. It's not doing anything for you. It's not. You can't. I mean, yes. Can you go to the store and use Dogecoin? Yes, of course. Can you? Can you trade Dogecoin for something else? Yeah, of course. But that 
So what? You can do that with anything. You can do that with USDT. You can do that with USDC. I do it literally every day with my Crypto.com card. I, just, I don't know. I'm just glad he's he's diversifying. Yeah, out of, uh, I'm glad that he is as well. Uh, he's moving on to ADA. He sees he sees potential in ADA. Yeah. As do we. As we. As we. As do we as well. As a do a V. <laughs> moving on to that NFT news, man. I know you guys are kind of crazy NFTs. with NFTs now. Uh, Naomi Akasaka. I'm, Osaka. I'm probably gonna butcher your name. I do apologize. Um, she actually shows interest in Dogecoin. Um, you know, the funny thing about that is most people that don't know about crypto, they either are Bitcoin, go to Bitcoin first, or Dogecoin first, which I don't know why those are the two, but those are, those are what it is. But, um, she actually launched her NFTs, um, on, what is that website? Uh, I think it's the same one that Tom Brady did, but it was, yeah, his, her US Open, uh, NFT. And I think it, there was like... A fifty, a twenty-five dollar one, a fifty dollar one, a hundred dollar well, one. It's, you have to and mint that, like thousands. There's, she has like copies. I don't like investing in those. It's like one of ones or whatever. Or ten thousand of them. Like I don't like those yeah, type of NFTs. Those are way too risky. They're ca- super risky. Cause yeah. I mean, but I mean, I don't know. I, if if you're into if you're into just, tennis just, or sports like that, trying to make money. Yeah, you. I mean, I would say go ahead. Not financial advice or anything, but I mean, I, I'm not into like the. The, the the sports type NFTs, you know, that's like a specialty. Not even sports, just even musicians, artists. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, into I'm not really. Into I'm into that, the ones know? that are right now, obviously the profile picture ones, but <clears> then for hype, and then games and stuff like that. I'm not into this stuff where it's oh, I'm making NFT because I'm famous. Right, like a like a yeah. It's like I super it. fanboy stuff. It's like buying the limited CD, a bundle CD for like a hundred bucks. You just buy the CD. Yeah, but imagine, but imagine if Drake his did his new album come out yet? comes out this week september 3rd. imagine it was an nft though yeah. people will buy the heck out of that yeah that's what i'm saying it's a fanboy stuff people will buy the heck out of that she has a lot of fans tory lanes was the first one to put it on the map so hey man if you could do it i know i know drake could do it easily if drake was like look i'm making my i'm making an nft did it for free and then uh he'll make the royalties off of everyone that resells his uh album he would change the yeah. game too because his numbers are going to do way more than tory lanes in my opinion, you know what I'm saying, but that's just me. All right, guys, moving. He probably on. won't though. He would announce it by now. Yeah, he won't, 100. But I mean, it would be dope if he did. Moving on to the tweets of the day, man. Now these, the tweets of the day is we we like to pick ones um, that kind of give you an understanding of where we're going with the channel and and just talk about the ones that we're always usually talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, Mr. Whale, shout out to Crypto Whale. Um, he says Ripple has filed a motion to expose XRP holdings of the SEC employees to see if there's any conflict of interest. Imagine if it was found that they were trading it behind the scenes. <laughs> That's insider trading. That's what I, I made a TikTok on that. Yeah, we know that the former SEC chairman plays with Bitcoin and Ethereum. So you never know. That's what's going on. The, the Ripple is literally yesterday asked for these documents. And that was yesterday. I technically should be. I mean, he tweeted out he today. He tweeted out today. But yeah. yesterday, they and today there's a, there's a phone conference about all this. And then the, the court says the SEC has until September 3rd to to distribute those documents and showcase if any SR, SEC employees were holding the XRP, trading XRP, trading Bitcoin, trading Ethereum. So they're saying that, in my opinion, it's insider trading. It's like, hey, you guys are like saying this causing fud here doing this slapping a lawsuit on us and you guys have been buying all these cryptos this whole time and you guys are literally saying oh it's it's not it's a security it's a security you guys shouldn't be buying and selling it until there's clarity but you guys have been they've been doing it this whole time yeah and that's they, what we're gonna find out they're saying that bitcoin and ethereum aren't security so they're buying it and then they're like oh xrp is a security so you can't buy it but then they're buying it so what but, but, but it seems like they're buying it at the low, low price. It's crazy. So we're going to see what happens. I think this case is going to get... Ripple's going for the win. There's no settlement coming. I think Ripple's going for the win. They're going for the win. They have they have too much... Too they have much, too much ammunition. The SEC is going to look stupid. Like, the SEC is going to have to, like, <clears throat> settle. Hey, just pay us. Please, just play as, play as this. We don't want to lose. Like, it's going to be interesting. I think Ripple is going to go for the win. Because, like, like, like show of, like, a, an audacity thing. You have the audacity <laughs> to try and ruin our company. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna be talking about VXV, man, because if you guys don't know, VXV literally it's blowing up all over the place right now. Blowing up right now. And we now, got man. it. We got it. At 380, three eighty, one eighty. VXV has been blowing up. Bro. We were. We told you guys not first, but when before it was cool. 
before yeah. it was cool. Because everyone's talking about Dante this. DeFi too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dante, he's gonna get on. The, he's gonna be on our podcast next week. But he's on Twitter with it, right? No, I mean, not Twitter. Uh, 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 TikTok. No, he's on YouTube with it. as well. Yeah, Dante DeFi was talking about it a month, a couple months ago. We t- we found it out already, but we didn't publicly S- tell say anything until yeah, yeah. we we learned about it. By the time we finished learning about it and said, "All right, we like it, we're in." It was too. And, yeah. And it was like three eighty. That's that's. When I, I don't know when you got it, but I got it at three eighty, and I was happy. I was like, "All right, cool." Now it's like I double my money right now, but we we were talking about it on this show before it was cool. Yeah. So hundred percent. Albert you know, too. Uh, VXV Buddha says, and we like VXV Buddha. He's pretty dope. So the scary thing is there's still no real exchanges, yep. no press releases Point from days. the uh, world re- uh, renowned institutions, renowned, renowned sorry, uh, institutions, S&P, Global, SpaceX, etc. No customer uh, accessing data sets yet. Only 7K holders. When we were first talking about it, I think it only had 4K? 35. 3,500? It doubled, yeah. Uh, now it has 7K holders. And we're in the real 4K, threat. 4K, you're right, 4K. Uh, we're in the real th- uh, treat. We're, we're in, in for a real treat in the coming months. VXV, Victor Space. Uh, Albert Token, we always talk about Quant, DAG, Link, not so much, Jay and then Link. XRP. These, There's like 10 tokens <clears throat> that you guys can just have in your portfolio, not financial advice. You can just pack your bag and just sit there and just, just smile next year. And just know you have six figures <laughs> yeah, next year. Probably more. Like, I would throw LCX on there. There's, there's so many. If you join our Discord, if you join our public discord right now we're giving there's a new one there's a new one he's not sold on it yet i don't know why yeah, i'm not sold on it yet but i gotta do we got it from here. a credible source a very 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 smart individual that brought it that we found from this person and we're and we're bringing it to you so if you guys want to know what this is we're already talking about it in this I already I'm, I'm already teasing it in there and then right now you guys can get in and we can kind of go from there yeah just yeah. get in we're talking about it i'm gonna drop it by the, by the end of the day by the time this episode comes out um well, like 30 minutes or so but in the future when you guys see this we should be talking about it already but i've already mentioned it cool so i guess he said cool so with that so with that i guess the uh i guess the emoji that they need to put is the the little the little email like the one uh like a message you know like the little email one you know what I'm talking nah, about? Too, I don't know. Too hard to, to kind of yeah, explain. Yeah, that's too much. But they don't have like a like a bird, like a tweet. Just like put a, a diamond. Put a diamond emoji. Diamond, okay. Put diamond. a diamond because that's a gem that we're dropping in there. It's cheap right now. It's It has low supply, 880 million. That thing can hit a couple hundred dollars. It has great partnerships. Amazon's one of them. Google's one of them. So, hey, we're... So drop diamonds in the... Drop down another in the, tally. Uh, I did a tally, the whole tally last night so far. So I'm, I'm, I'm already, I already docked all you guys. So we only got, we're like at 448 right now. So yeah. the, the, the competition's ending. So I'm trying to give everyone as much chances they can to win this giveaway as much as they, you know what I mean? Diamonds, 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 diamonds. All right. Diamond guys. emojis. Moving on to the market gainers and losers. Uh, let's go to 24 hours. Look at <laughs> look that. Look at the baby. That's my baby. Vector space. And Agda, of course, but boom. That all thing, time highs. All time highs, man. That it's it's all, all over high, TikTok. Right? Everything, yeah. Yeah. I made a TikTok explaining about what VXV is. All time high for brother. dummies. Damn, it just jumped up to five seventy one. Yeah, it might even jump past this in like um, two point two seconds. Yeah, Dag. I mean, VXV is one of those ones you get like five hundred. You'll you'll touch. This it's, is a five hundred dollar crypto. Yeah, man. VXV is VXV is pretty legit. It's only man. fifty million tokens. It's up twenty percent in twenty four hours. That's Bro. crazy. But and the, even yesterday bro, it was up 27 percent bro this thing is in rank number 2730 market cap is is what like go click on it please because it's not showing you on the thing it's not showing anymore market cap is 212 million yeah and no, i have 50 million tokens million. but circulating supply is only 37 million this thing has massive potential yeah. Same thing with ALBT, but VXV right now is at five dollars with literally nope. seven thousand holders, not even on Coinbase. Not on anything. Oh, this is the quant 2.0. It's literally quant, it's the quant effect. Quant was a dollar eighty, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, six dollars, seven dollars, mm-hmm. and then blows up to two hundred dollars. Like this is another chance of, of being able to get in and getting as much as you you know what I mean? Yeah. Harmony one finally reaching the top spot. I haven't seen Harmony One up here in a minute. It's pretty dope. 
Uh, yeah, H bar is actually H-bar. up too. That's what top five, top four. Yeah, top five, top five. Nice. Algo was under a dollar right, yesterday. Algo is an ecosystem token too. This was under a dollar yesterday, guys. We're, I, we're already up. Yeah. Click on. Can you see what Algorand's total supply is? Uh, yeah, sure. I never really did research on it. Uh, five billion. I guess that's five billion. Not bad. Yeah. Wait. Oh, max. Okay. So okay. Total cool. supply is five billion. Yeah. No. Most it can ever go is ten billion, but total supply is five billion. Algo, Algorand cool. is an ecosystem token too, I believe. Yeah. If I'm not but, mistaken. But um. That's what I call them. Hedera Hashgraph. H bar 27. Finally hitting that 27 H- cents. I'm going to tell you guys right now. H bar is Cardano at 13 cents last year. That's my that's my stamp on it. And I'm packing the heck out of it. H bar H bar is the 13 cent version of Cardano last year. So if you saw Cardano last year at 13 cents, H bar at 27 cents is, is, is that. Yeah, man. H bar is pretty legit. Especially when you actually know what so, it does. Yep. Uh, Ethereum, as we already know, doing pretty good. Verocity is doing pretty good. Now, I, when I first start, started talking about Verocity, um, I said it wasn't going to be a long term for me. But um, now that I'm starting to think about it, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to stay into to VRA uh, a little bit longer than anticipated. Um, just because, um, what it, you know, the partnerships it has, you know, with the esports and the YouTubes and all that. I get to see it going, um, you know, more so to that lane of content creation. So, I'm going to hold it for a little bit. I'm going to hold it for a little bit. XRP jumped up a little bit while uh, we were talking. VeChain back at that 12 cents. Uh, XLM, nice. ZRX, Zillica, Stacks, Digibyte. Where is Quant? Uh, engine's down a little bit. Okay, DAG's down a little bit. Elrond's down. Albert token went under a dollar again, which is still fine if you want to get in with that. Quant's just been uh, consolidating, really. Uh, it's been like at 185 for the past couple of days, so pretty dope for Quant. So yeah, guys, that that was the market gainers, winners, losers. Do you see something you want to get into, dollar cost average into? There's a lot of stuff going on today, man. Solano is really taking a just a that thing is going crazy, man. I sent over Solana earlier, but man, it just it hasn't sent yeah. yet, so I don't know. It's taking a long time. We got, we got a couple minutes left to just chop it up with some with the with the family. Like, you, you want to hear some rants or something? Do you guys want to hear a story? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, guys, if you guys really want to know about the token that John um, John found, um, please join the Discord, man, right here. Join the public Discord. The link is down in the description yep. down below. Follow us on all the socials, uh, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. We literally post every single day. It's not just on YouTube. We post on all platforms every day. I think... Uh, I don't want to cut you off. No, no, go I ahead, think, go ahead. Is it bad? I think I want to make a video. I made a video about VXV, but then it's like... Like, I know I don't know if you did or not, but it's like people that have... You know, we're, we're growing on, on TikTok, right? We're growing... Mike hit 2,500 <laughs> followers in like, you know, a couple weeks. You know, yeah. Crypto Logic uh, has like 45, about to 4,600 by the end of the day or ne- next couple hours, actually. It's like 45, 45, 88. So yeah. that thing is growing. They're, we're growing. And BXV has, I'd say, three or four, maybe five people talking about it that have tens of thousands of followers, 100,000 followers. Joshua J, Crypto Weatherman. Um, if you're on Instagram, we even talk about it now. And, yeah. And that's apparently giving awareness to BXV. BXV. Mommy. Yeah, Call and, mommy. and it's giving awareness to VXV, which is why the price appreciation is going up because it's not on any big exchanges yet. Right. When it gets, this thing gets on Coinbase, it's, it's game over. You, you you're gonna have to you're gonna need a lot of money to play. Right now, you can put in ten dollars a day, five dollars a day, and you could get one VXV, a seven VXV a, a week. You, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, seven yeah. VXV a week. That's 30, 30 days out of the month, five dollars right now is five six dollars. That's thirty VXV a month. If yeah. you're buying one a day. The thing about VXV though, guys, that you have to realize it's very volatile, right? One minute it could be five dollars, next minute it could be four dollars. It just it's because people start taking profits, you it's know what I'm saying? But the too. supply is very small. Um, you know, so you, you have to realize that you're gonna have a lot of volatility, but just, if you're just dollar cost averaging yeah, in, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Don't worry buy, about it. Buy if like fifty dollars worth of it. If it goes week. from five dollars to fifty cent, which it's not gonna do, but if it goes from five dollars to fifty cent, all right, cool. I'm dollar cost averaging more. I'm buying dollar cost averaging more. VXV, you don't worry about it. VXV is a cup of Starbucks coffee. Uh, I don't drink Starbucks, but Venti, what's the size? The biggest size? Gra- uh, Venti? Is I don't know. It, please grande? correct me. 
I don't, no, know. I don't, I don't know the size of Starbucks, so I, I don't I, you know guys either. can laugh at me all you want. Grande, venti, tall, like I don't know. I think it's tall, grande, venti, right? I don't know. Whatever. But I it's the it's, it's the price of a Starbucks coffee. Hey, for one month, I'm just not gonna buy drink coffee. And I'm just gonna buy VXV. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or if you drink two cups a, a, a day, I'm gonna drink Damn. one cup a day. Two cups. A I don't day? know. Ooh. I don't drink coffee like that. So it's, yeah, me either. No, no offense to anybody that drinks coffee. Hey, not like I'm just saying. I'm just throwing ideas of how you can make your mind say, "Hey, I'm gonna buy this, this one," you know? Right. Man, and, that makes sense. And yeah. VXV hits a hundred dollars. You have thirty. That's three grand. Yeah, three grand you didn't have before. What I'm saying. You know, but well, people, you keep going. Like, people are predicting VXV to be a lot higher than a hundred dollars. Five digits, ten. Digits. You know what I'm it saying? Can't so. It can't take It can't take Yeah, I I, yeah. I agree. Not now. Not now. Years. Maybe in a year or two. Yeah. Maybe after if the bull, I mean the bear market comes, which would probably give everyone a really good buy-in, but it depends on how high this thing goes. If this like quant, quant will probably be a fifty to seventy dollar crypto during the uh, bear market. Oh, yeah. I don't see it ever going down to a dollar. No, I don't no, see anyone no. selling it going into zero. It's too powerful for that. Yeah, I have a feeling like if there's a bear market, no FUD, being two hundred dollars, worst case scenario, fifty bucks, which is still pretty high. VXV, we got to see where it goes. If it hits twenty bucks, thirty bucks, forty bucks in this next few months, then the right. bear market comes. It'll probably go back down to like a ten to twenty dollar crypto. But if this thing only hits ten dollars, it might go back down to three bucks, two bucks. I don't, I don't know. I don't see it going down to the cents anymore. No, 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 no. It's already in the fives. <clears throat> so I don't gonna, see that. It's going to hit the tens and then the tw So that's just how I, you know, how I think. And, and, and you know, it, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I knew that I was like keep ranting. We're already at thirty minutes, so we're probably done oh, here. We talk, but honestly, guys, let me rant in Discord. Join the Discord. Hit me join rant. the Discord, man. It's a fun place. It's, it's basically where all the people can, all, all everyone that wants to be like minded and hang out with like minded people. That's where you go, man. Join the Discord. It's a free. You don't have to pay anything. It's just, it's just a fun time, man. Um, and then follow, like I said, follow us on our Twitter, our TikTok, and our Instagram. Post every single day, bring you as much value as we can. <laughs> Because we like doing that, man. We like bringing you guys value, okay? So, thank you guys so much for watching. We do hope you guys found some value. If you did, smash that like button, man. You guys are all crypto millionaires. There you go. Future crypto millionaires. Subscribe to the channel, man, if you want to become a crypto millionaire based off Diamond of... Diamond emojis. Understanding. Diamonds. Later, guys. <laughs> <laughs>